What is up guys? In today's video, we are gonna be opening the iCamper SkyCam 3.0 for the very first time. Hopefully you saw my install video that we just released. This one is gonna be a follow up right after that one. Just kinda, again, I have never opened this tent. I've never opened a rooftop tent in my life. This is the first one I've ever owned. So let's see how easy it is for a newbie. I'm gonna walk you through it step by step and obviously then we'll take a look at the features and I'll give you obviously a good look at the inside and all that good stuff. I'm gonna have my wife come around the side. We'll pop it open and see how easy this is for a beginner. Okay, so one thing I didn't show you in the install video, your keys, you do get two of them. They're, they're attached right here on one of the, um, the locking mechanisms. So just so you know, I actually didn't even notice them at first. So that's where your keys will be. So let's go ahead and unlock it. That's one thing I will mention too, um, that is an upgrade over the 2.0. If you guys have ever had the 2.0 or if you've seen videos on it, the buckles were like underneath. If you, depending on your rack setup, they could be a little bit hard to get to. And again, this is just from research that I've done. Um, I never owned one of these before. So the 3.0 is a definite upgrade as far as the locking mechanisms. They're on the side. They're super easy to get to, super easy to unlock and lock. All right, so now at this point, we are just going to kind of push the top open. And my truck is kind of high, so. I'm gonna kind of climb up here real quick. And it does have gas struts on it. So once you get it started, it's gonna take over and go on its own. I love that new tent smell. The next step is we're gonna grab the ladder. There is a Velcro strap right on top. I know you probably can't see it right now, but you can't miss it. Just undo that Velcro strap and we're gonna bring the ladder out to us. They do give you a uh, cover for the feet of the ladder. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that off at this point. Again, Velcro strap holding it in place. And when you extend the ladder, you're literally just going to unfold it like that and pull towards you. When you put the ladder down, you want the ladders, uh, the rungs of the ladder are kind of at an angle. You want them to be flat. It's very easy to, um, to you know, adjust the ladder as needed. I'm actually gonna have my wife come in a little closer and I'll show you what you have to do here. So you wanna start at the top of the ladder and these black tabs, all you do is push them in and you can push the ladder up and lock it in place. I believe you want it at about a 70 degree angle is what they call for. Um, but again, that's why they're steps. I love the steps on these because as long as these steps look parallel to the ground, you're in the ballpark of where you need to be. All right, so once you have the ladder in position, you also have to keep in mind that the ladder is what supports the part that folds out. So that's another reason why you don't want the ladder, you know, facing way out or whatever, um, just not a good idea, so. All right, so once we have that done, we can climb up the, the ladder. Now on the 3.0, they made another upgrade that was not on the previous models. Your bars that you're gonna need for your rain fly and your window flaps, they're in a pouch right here in the front. Makes it super easy so you don't have to store them in the back of the tent and go reaching in. There's a zippered pouch right here. And that's where you're gonna get all of your rain fly poles. Now there's gonna be four of one length and two that are just a little bit longer. You're gonna want the two that are a little bit longer for right now. And you can see right here at the top of the ladder, there's a little bit of a hole and it kind of angles. So you wanna take the straight end of the, um, the pole and slide it in like so. And then we're gonna take it up. You're gonna bend it. And right up in here, there's a, um, a hole where you're gonna attach the hook side of the pole. We're gonna go ahead and repeat the process on the other side. And now you can see our rain fly is up and secured, which gives us access to the main opening of the, um, of the tent. I am so excited to get up in there. Before we jump up in the tent, there's one last thing we wanna do here on the outside. On the front two corners, so right here, you can't miss them. There's two little bungees hanging down. You'll see there's a black knob right here. So basically, you just wanna stretch your bungees around that knob. There's one here and one on the other side. 
And again, that basically just keeps the rain fly nice and taut so it doesn't blow around in the wind. It's just a way to secure these corners. All right, guys, it is time to climb up in this tent for the first time. Let's do it. Kicking the shoes off. It's a brand new tent, so we don't want to get it all nasty before we even get to take it camping. And let's climb up here and look at that. That right there is one of the iCamper signatures, the world map on the back. Just a nice little touch. To me, it's awesome. I love the look of it. Again, it's strictly cosmetic, obviously, uh, but it is a nice touch. And I do love the gray interior um, with the black zippers and black outline and everything. So it looks like we have some paperwork and a bottle of something up there. Before we go to that, I'll show you right here inside the lip. This is the zipper pouch that I mentioned um, where you put all of your six poles. So let's see what that paperwork and that bottle is. So it looks like we have just basically, okay, just a user manual fabric care and some seam sealer. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and toss that out so we can get in here and check it out. All right, so first thing we're gonna wanna do is grab that smaller mattress that's on top back there. We're gonna pull that forward because that's what's gonna cover this whole area right here. So there you can see the two mattresses butt up against each other and basically the whole floor is now covered. Let's get up there and open up some windows and take a good look at this thing. All right, guys, here we are in the eye camper for the very first time. First thing we're going to do is open the moon screen or sunscreen, whatever you want to call it, and then open up the windows. And my first recommendation is don't do this install and unboxing on a day where it's 95 and humid. I am drenched in sweat. Let's open up these windows. So this is just your basic um, canvas up here. So we can unzip that and then it looks like there's a screen you can see hanging down and I'll give you a better look again when I get you off the tripod. Um, these two panels, we could roll up the same way that we did. Let me angle this up just a little bit more for you so you can see what I'm doing. So there you can see the moon screen or whatever you want to call it. Um, so these we can roll up again. This is just like we did with the main panel. And you can see there's more of these like latch type cords. So we'll go ahead and latch that to keep these nice and neat. So this does have the canvas and the mesh as I showed you to keep the bugs out. But this is actually um, part of the rain fly that covers the whole tent. So this is basically like a clear plastic. Um, there's no airflow coming in from there unless you take the whole rain fly off um, the whole tent. Let's go ahead and open up these windows. Both sides are gonna be the same. So I'm just gonna show you this one here. So again, first we have this canvas that we can go ahead and open up. Oh, actually, I'm sorry, that top zipper. There's two zippers right here. The inner one is the canvas. And then there's a mesh there to keep the bugs out, obviously. Then the outer zipper releases the mesh. And then here we have our window. Now, there's two different things you can do with this material right here. Um, so again, we have the canvas that we unzippered. We have the mesh that we unzippered. Now this is just, there's nothing here. This material, you could do one of two things. And this is new for the, uh, the 3.0 as well. These two cords here, if you just pull them, it's a nice, fast, easy way. And God, that breeze feels good already. <laughs> um, but it's a nice, fast, easy way to just lift that material up. And then there's these pieces on here that you could just cinch it so it stays. Okay, so you can do that. Or what you can do are other poles. I'm gonna grab those four other poles that were in that pouch. We can take two per side, so two per window, and we can release this material instead of having it bunched up like that at the top, we can actually open this and have it as like, let's say it was raining and you wanted to have that almost as like a little, you know, a little canvas out there or a little uh, tent or whatever you want to call it. Um, there's areas on the outside of the tent. I'll again, take a picture and put it on your screen so you know exactly what I'm doing. But basically we're just going to take the bent end and insert it into the side of the tent out here. And then the hook end is going to go into these eyelets on both sides. All right, so let me do this and then I'll give you a better look. 
All right, so there you can see we have it set up. It's almost like a little awning off to the side if it was raining or if you just wanted it out there for whatever reason. And you can see where the poles hook in up top. And then I'll give you a look. If you come out the window, you can see right there. Those two spots are where it enters on the tent side. Very easy, very quick, and you have a nice little awning. I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the other side just to get more airflow in here, and then we'll talk about the rest of the features, and uh, then we'll close it up at the end of the video. All right, so we have both windows opened up, getting some airflow in here, and I will say there's a nice breeze that kind of crosses through um, when you have both sides of the window open. First impressions, guys, I gotta be honest, this thing has definitely met my expectations. Um, maybe even exceeded the quality of the canvas material of the tent um, and even the mattresses. That's one of the things, as I mentioned, I think I mentioned, I've done a ton of research on these rooftop tents because I've never owned one. And everybody's biggest complaint is the mattresses, the mattresses, they're uncomfortable and blah, blah, blah. I gotta be honest. I mean, am I gonna tell you it's the most comfortable thing I ever sat or laid on? No, but it's definitely, I think, sufficient. Um, you know, I may upgrade to that. I can't remember what they call, maybe their sleep system or whatever. I may upgrade that, upgrade to that in the future just to kind of compare and test it out. And, you know, I'll even make a video on the channel just to let you know what I know what I think. But, I mean, first impressions, I actually am, am very happy with this tent. Now, inside, as far as other features go, you have plenty of headroom, as you can see. Um, I'm just shy of six foot. Literally, I'm like 5'11 and a half, 5'11 and three quarters, just shy of six. And, I mean, I have plenty of room back here, side to side. I mean, it's huge in here. You could easily sleep three people in this tent if you needed to. Maybe a fourth. That's You, you might be a little crammed with a fourth. They do rate it as a three to four person tent. Four might be a stretch in my opinion, but I like a little bit of room when I sleep. Three, you could easily sleep three people in this tent for sure. Um, or three adults and maybe a child or something like that if you wanted to. But other features, um, there there's some pockets on each side. Hopefully I'm in frame. Um, there's some mesh pockets right there on that side and on this side um, to store stuff. There's a couple things I want to point out on the outside of the tent that I didn't show you. We'll do that before we close it up. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm eventually going to add some LED lights in here. You know, if I'm at camp or whatever, and I just need a little bit of light in here, we'll have some LED lighting in here. That's one thing I will say, honestly, at the price point, I do kind of wish they included something like that. Um, because let's be honest, these, these tents aren't cheap. And I did see other tents that aren't quite as expensive that do come with LEDs. So that's one thing I do wish that iCamper included. But again, that's minor. I mean, you can pick those up pretty cheap on Amazon. And I don't mind doing the install, obviously. So, um, yeah, first impression. I, I definitely love the color scheme as well. The 2.0 was that, like, burgundy. I'm not a fan of that. I wasn't a fan of that at all, actually. Um, when I first saw that, that's just not my thing. This is awesome. It's a blackish gray. I don't know what they call it, but it's it's a dark gray with the black, you know, zippers and, and accents and the struts are black. Um, and then this world map behind me. I don't know why I like that so much. I just do. I think it's awesome that they put that back there. Um, purely aesthetic, but I think it is pretty cool to have there. One other thing I'm going to mention that I'm going to do to this, um, again, after all the research I've done, I am going to put carpet tiles underneath the mattresses. If you know anything about these things, they're prone to um, condensation, um, depending on the weather. So I am going to put carpet tiles underneath the mattresses. Um, I'll, I'll explain that more when I actually do it. I'll show you guys what I'm going to do. Let me, um, actually get one of these mattresses out. I believe there's a zipper on one of the sides. I'll actually unzip and show you, uh, what the mattresses look underneath the padding here. All right. So I took the smaller mattress that we slid over and as you can see, it's, um, it's like an egg crate pattern thickness i'm not sure what it's rated it does have this foil type material on the bottom again that's supposed to help with condensation um i can't remember i'll put it on the screen i'll look it up and and uh put it on the screen for you i can't remember how thick this is i want to say two and a half inch mattress i think that's what it is but again i'll check and put it up there for you um so yeah i mean again to me they're pretty comfortable i mean you can see the pattern to it not that that really matters but so I don't know. I, I think I'm going to sleep just fine on these, to be honest with you. So that's what the mattresses look like. Obviously, you can take the covers off to wash them. So, yeah, that's what they look like inside these covers.
Now, as far as the total dimensions inside this tent, again, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I will check and put them on the screen for you just so you know exactly what you're dealing with. But it, as I mentioned, it is very, very roomy in here. Um, this is going to be perfect for my wife and I, or if the kids come or whatever, this is going to be awesome. So I'll put the dimensions on the screen. Let's go outside, back outside the tent. I'll show you a couple things out there and then we'll close the video by shutting this thing down and showing you how easy that is again for somebody who's never done it before let's do it so i mentioned there's a couple other things i want to show you before we wrap this up and close the tent you can see that it comes with these hooks you can hang um they have a ton of accessories uh, i camper brand and you know aftermarket brands or knockoff brands whatever you want to call them you can get like shoe racks to hang here um, so you don't have to drop your shoes on the ground they make all different types of accessories you can check them out at icamper.com or um, again, Amazon, wherever you want to check them out. There's a ton of options out there. So you have hooks here. You could actually add more or your own type or whatever. And then on the back, there's there's more hooks over. Hopefully I'm in frame. I can't see my hand, but there's more hooks on that side as well. Um, I'll show you what these straps are for in a second when we close the tent down. Last thing I want to point out on the exterior is this right here. There's a grommet. They included this if you want to run, um, again, let's say you have LEDs or you want to run a charging cable, whatever you want to do. Um, there's a grommet right there that you can go up through and run a cord if you're powering LED lights underneath or whatever the case may be. So I just wanted to point that out because I believe, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, this is new on the 3.0 as well. I don't believe that was there on the 2.0. There you have it, guys. Quick walk around before I show you how to close it down. And maybe we'll even time it to see how fast I can close it down on my own, especially with being a newbie. But there's a good look at the exterior. We'll walk around the other side. There's how it looks from the driver's side. You can see how it opens up back here. All right, let's see how long it takes to take this thing down and pack it away for someone who's never done it before. This is literally the first time we've ever opened it. This will be the first time we are closing it. And I'm just curious as to how fast, and I'm not gonna rush. I'm just gonna kind of do this at a normal steady pace, but I'm curious to see by myself how long it'll take to close this thing down fully from it's wide open. The windows are open, the rain fly and side windows are still up. Everything is still open. So let's see how long it takes. I'm gonna go ahead and start um, you could also tell on the screen um, at the video, but I'm going to go ahead and start right now and then we will, um, I'm going to get going and see how long this takes. So I'm pressing start right now. guys six minutes and 19 seconds and again that's somebody who's never done this before kind of taking my time i could have done it faster and i'm sure i will get faster when i get more comfortable um the only thing i noticed i actually <laughs> i got to tuck this strap back up in there i forgot to tuck this this is the strap that you pull um you know the cover back down when you're closing it the other two straps on the side you hopefully you were able to tell because i know i sped that up a little bit to save time on the video but the two straps on the side you pull those as you're closing it and what that does is it helps close or bring in the sides of the tent so i'm sure it's pretty self-explanatory honestly but um so yeah i'll tuck that strap in but so just over six minutes to to put that away literally from wide open i had to close the windows i had to close the sunroof um everything i mean it, the thing was literally wide open as wide open as i could get so over six minutes to close that by myself for the very first time that in my opinion is not bad at all i know there's people out there that do it a heck of a lot faster those people have been doing it for a while um and i'm sure i will get quicker but even still six minutes to close up camp that's not bad at all can't complain 
So there we have it, the very first time opening, closing, and taking a look around the iCamper SkyCamp 3.0, or any rooftop tent for that matter. As I mentioned, this is all brand new to me. I've never owned one. One thing I wanted to mention on this 3.0 as well that I didn't mention, when you're closing it, the 3.0 is just a little bit taller or thicker, however you want to look at it. Um, what that allows for is a little bit more storage when it's in the closed position like it is right now. So when you're closing it, that little mat, the smaller mattress that we had to slide forward, you put that one back up on top. So you slide that little mattress back to where it was. And then on top of that, you can then store, you know, sleeping bags, pillows, whatever. I'm not exactly sure how much we can store. Time will tell because we'll put, we'll be putting some bedding up there. I'll keep you guys posted. But the 3.0 is a little bit taller to allow for a little bit more storage in there when you have it in the closed position. So hopefully we'll be able to store, you know, at least two or three pillows and maybe a couple sleeping bags, something like that in there. But again, I'll keep you guys posted on that. If you have any questions on this thing, let me know. I'll help you out the best I can. I absolutely love this tent. I cannot wait to take it on some adventures. I'm very impressed with the quality of all the materials. I mean, obviously for my camper, you'd expect nothing but the best, especially at the price range. Because again, we all know these things aren't cheap. So stay tuned. I'll be sharing all of our adventures on, on the channel. And obviously we'll be doing some things to the tent as well. We'll be adding LED lighting and different accessories. So uh, yeah, I'll share all that with you here on the channel. Any questions, put them down below. As always, we appreciate you watching. Hope, hopefully you'll subscribe and follow along, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.